Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can install latest ver version of Windows 11 on your PC. So with this tutorial, it will save all of your programs. Nothing will be deleted if you have Discord, Steam or something like that, other games or programs. Nothing will be deleted and everything will be saved. You don't need a USB drive for this tutorial. Also, this works for unsupported PC as well as with supported so you can do for both of them it works for unsupported and supported we can start with the tutorial and let's see how to upgrade your and install windows 11. so the first thing we need to do is to go to our start and we're gonna type in here disk management like this and click on this create and format hard disk partitions we need to click on this one in order to make a virtual hard disk so we click here on action and click on create vhd now here on location we're going to click on browse and here on this pc and then we click on local disk c on c drive make sure you have free space of 16 gigabytes so click on this and we're going to name it vhd it doesn't matter which name you put i just put like this so we know so click on save here and here from the virtual disk size, we're gonna change this to GB and we're gonna type in 16 gigabytes. As I said before, you have to have a minimum of 60, 60 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes of memory on your local disk C. Click OK here. And we have to wait for this percentage to go to 100%. So the virtual hard disk will be created. After the virtual hard disk has been finished, now if you don't see it, just go a little bit down here and you will have here unknown disk 2. So in order to make it initialized, right click on it and click on initialize disk. And here we're gonna let it on GPT and click OK. And here on annotated space, right click on it and click on new simple volume. And here click on next, click on next. You can choose the letter if you want to change it but i'm gonna leave it like this and here on volume label i'm gonna put it again on vhd you can name it whichever you want click on next and click on finish and that's it now we can close this and we're gonna go to the next step so the next step is to go to our google to google site and we have to google so here I'm going to type in Rufus and we're going to search for Rufus and we're going to go on this first website link here, create multiple USB drives. Here we're going to click on this one. Just make sure you are on the official website here. So we're going to scroll a little bit down and make sure you download the standard version. Don't download these other versions. Just click on this, the standard, the first one here, standard version for Windows 64. So I'm going to click on this one. So click on save here and we're going to click on Rufus here and here we're going to click on next. And here is the Rufus that we need to the application to create from virtual disk to make a ISO file. So we click on this. First of all, we need to click on this show application settings and make sure here check for updates here is on default and here include beta versions is on yes click on check for check now and click on close and here on close and click on close and we need to relaunch the rufus so go again to your downloads and relaunch it and now you should have this here this arrow right here so we click on it and click on download and we're gonna wait a little bit for the program to download the files that it needs and then we click on download here and here we're gonna let on windows 11 click on continue and here on latest release again click on continue and, and here on addition we're gonna put it like here and click on continue and here is very very important this to choose this language 
Now, how you can find which which type of language do you have? As you can see, there are multiple English. There are two of them. And how you can find the right one? Because if you don't get this step right, the files will not be saved. So click here on Start, and type in Power Shell here on Power Shell. Right click on it. Run as administrator. It has to be as administrator. And here we're gonna type in this command get win system local and we press and enter and as you can see here on display name i have my version is english and here is united states so from international i have to select the united states so if you have united states make sure you select this one if you have international english select this one or if you have other languages make sure you select the correct one and here we can close this this is just to see which version do we have and click on continue and here a architecture is 64 and click on download and now it's going to ask us where do you want the iso file click on download here you can you can save it whichever do you want so i'm going to go, go and download click on save and we're going to wait for iso file to be downloaded and we will go to the next step after this finishes after it has been finished now you can click here on start if the start doesn't appear you can click here on select from you can you have to choose from download to select and then you have to select this one that you downloaded that the program downloaded click on open if for some reason the start doesn't work now here volume label you can choose windows and type in windows 11 or you can be it can be default so you can just put it like here like this doesn't matter so we're gonna let everything as default here and here we're gonna click on start and here make sure create local with username and everything here is selected all of this is selected so we can make it a little bit less confusing so make sure you just stick everything here and click OK and we're gonna wait for the for the process to finish again it will say just click OK here and here we're gonna take a little bit and wait for this to finish and let copy everything that it needs every file and then we will go to the next step that we need to in order to upgrade after this has been finished as you can see it says ready status we can close and we're gonna wait a little bit we go now to start and here we're gonna type in this pc again and we need to go to our windows here that we created this 60 gigabytes click on it and here we're gonna click on this setup double click on it click on yes here to launch it as administrator and the setup should begin here now here is the Windows, install windows 11 so we click on next as you can see it restarts so it checks our pc as you can see it just skipped and we click here on accept and we're gonna wait for checking for updates and after that you will see here it will say that it's ready to install so pretty much make sure you wait until the end if the percentages are a little bit stuck make sure you wait at least one hour for it to complete if it after one hour you can abort press here on x and then you can go ahead and continue again and try again so as you can see here you can change what to keep if you want to keep the personal files only keep personal uh, keep personal files and apps or here doing nothing but i always choose this one keep personal files and apps so make sure you do that and click on next and here i'm making sure you're ready to install so as i said before make sure you wait until the end at least one hour before as you can see if for example it gets stuck here you have to wait i don't know maybe 30 minutes to one hour to be sure that it's not stuck but it's working so that's all i wanted to say if that happens
After that, we just click here on install it and it should begin to install it. And that's it. We just have to wait here and let this complete and it will restart several times your PC and just wait and you will see your next step. And there we go. We are in Windows 11 right now. So we're on the latest Windows 11 as of this date. So to you have to go and go on this file explorer and we're going to go to this PC and we have to delete now. We'll go on local disk C. And now I suggest to delete this because we don't need this anymore and it just takes space. So right click on it and or you can just press delete and pretty much show more options here and go on delete and click continue and it should be deleting the the file and you should have more space now if you go here to the downloads again you can you can delete these two files both of them you can also delete these two guys here because it takes about almost seven gigabytes it takes but as you can see six gigabytes you can also delete these two if you want you can save this one if you want to install again and that's pretty much it here i'm gonna empty the circular cycle bin so that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching if this video was helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to the channel you can support me if you want and thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye